Welcome everyone. I am Emerald Green and I am the chick who reads. I'll be bringing you intuitive messages directly from spirit. I do want to let you all know that these readings, they are for entertainment purposes. So it may or may not resonate with you. However, if it does, I do ask if you would hit that like button. And if you feel called, hit that subscribe button and join the family. Now, keep in mind with Tarot, energy is fluid. So I could be saying he and it could be a she. I also mentioned zodiacs as well as time, but it is all energy. So flip it around, adjust it accordingly, but please, please do not force it to fit. Now, um, for those of you who are new, y'all, I be singing and I can't sing. I also cuss. I'm getting better at not cussing, but it's a journey. So um, definitely bear with me. Um, all of my returning subscribers... Uh, new and old you hit the like button you shared you um, subscribed I appreciate you thank you thank you thank you so much for everything that you do and contribute to the channel so um, y'all let's just hop into the reading I've already asked for coverage and protection let's see what spirit has for us to know holy spirit holy angels show me the things that I need to see and say I really want to see this divine masculine and divine uh, feminine energy what's going to happen after the retrograde is over this is going to happen during the retrograde. We got divine intervention. Friends. What's going on with divine masculine and divine feminine? Can I get one for divine masculine and one for divine feminine, please? We got between the lines for divine masculine. Can I get one for divine feminine, please? And thank you. We got finances for divine feminine. Okay. Okay. The overall energy is player. So we could have two players, playettes, uh, player, playette in the building. Y'all. Y'all tell me. Somebody like, look, I'm single till I can't be no more. <laughs> Until I'm dead and gone about this mug. What's this divine masculine, divine feminine energy? What's between the lines for divine masculine? What's between the lines for divine masculine? Can I get one to two cards, please? So we got to know your worth. Okay. Why do we have finances for divine feminine, please? Oh, no. I'm not taking both of those. But I'm going to just look at them now. We got hot and cold and some things take time. Okay. So can I get one for finances for divine feminine, please? And thank you. <clears throat> we got make a choice. And then it came out in the reverse. So somebody don't want to make a choice. Or maybe somebody feels that they shouldn't have to make a choice. Or somebody is feeling like somebody didn't make a choice on their finances of some sort. Now know your worth with the between the lines. is giving me like somebody is... Something is not really all the way clear. It's like somebody knows your worth. Or, or this divine masculine could be feeling like they know their worth. They're trying to find the hidden meaning, the hidden meaning behind everything that has been taking place in their life. Something could be very, very vague. We're gonna pull all of them out, y'all. I need a little bit of everything. Not those, though. <laughs> nope, not those. What's the uh, between the lines and know your worth for this divine masculine? Please and thank you. What's this between the lines and know your worth for divine masculine? Please and thank you. Can I get one to two, please? So we have magnetic, unexplainable pull, can't resist. This person is trying to figure something out. Maybe they know someone's worth. We got desire, lust, sexual chemistry, and ascension. Spiritual path, awakening. Why do we have finances for the divine feminine? To make a choice in the reverse. That's a lot. 
We got retaliation. Meeting two or more people. Discussions. Planning. Pretending. Fake living beyond means. And drastic, extreme, harsh cutoff. Look at that. Oh, third party ass energy trying to pop out in the middle of something. Look. It's some people that's collaborating, getting together. This could be behind the Divine Feminine. Somebody don't like this Divine Feminine. They could be uh, projecting like that, that. That Juju should I be talking about on the Feminine. Because of the Masculine turning their back with this player energy. Can I get one more please with the finances. For make a choice in the reverse. For Divine Feminine please. We got love. Adore. Admire enchantment. Can I get one more for divine feminine, please? And thank you. We got tragedy. Now, this was at the bottom of the deck. Forbidden love. Love, adore, admire, enchantment is right behind or right beside, should I say, forbidden love and this tragedy type energy. Somebody didn't make a choice or. It could have been financial reasons why this person didn't choose this divine feminine. Pretending is back at the bottom of the deck. This player. Let me see how this spirit is. Something telling me. Can I get one for Divine Masculine and one for Divine Feminine? Because something ain't right. There's some type of chemistry, sexual chemistry that took place. Maybe elevating somebody above what they were. Somebody couldn't understand what was going on. Maybe this person didn't feel like your worth was up there because you were. We got telepathic communication. This divine masculine is definitely sending telepathic communication to the divine feminine right now. There's this uh, magnetic attraction, this pull. Police moving on, letting go, bad credit, debt jackass both of y'all could have people of your past doing shit we got jackass at the bottom of the deck can I get one for the divine feminine please one for the divine feminine please and thank you one for divine feminine please and thank you <laughs> Half the question is flipped over in the deck. Don't know what that's about. Can I get one for the Divine Feminine? Ugh. Round and round. Cycles. Triggers. Lessons. So, yeah. This Divine Feminine says, this is, I'm done. Somebody is getting their karma Somebody did not choose this Divine Feminine. They blurred the past through the line. They made it seem like it was all lustful energy. This person is waking up now. They realize your worth. This Divine Masculine I'm getting was in player energy. They were in pl player energy. Look at this. Now they're spying on social media. Something is going to happen in Divine Timing. Somebody is single. They're definitely single, but they're in isolation. They're alone at this moment. This player works harder than all the rest is what I'm getting. I'm getting with this Divine Feminine. You had a, um, a restart is what I'm getting. You learned a lesson from something from your past. And you're starting over. This person, this divine masculine who you had, a, a, it was a divine intervention. There was a divine meeting with this person. 
was the catalyst that taught you to respect yourself? You took a lot of lessons in the past, but I'm getting like it was something that you weren't aware of going into this caliber of person. But because of what you went through with your past caliber, this person was a cakewalk and you were able to spot it early and you cut that shit off. This person didn't make a choice on you. Maybe you tried or attempted and it went around in circles for a little bit and you was like, you know what? I can focus on something that's way more important at the moment. And it's like maybe there are financial issues or maybe you're having successes in your life that just kept you active, kept you um, focused on things in the present. It's like it may not be all material things, but I'm getting like you're not trying to have money problems. So it's like you can you can focus on other things Since somebody to make a choice on you. You don't need to make a choice on them. Now, you may adore, admire this person or you may even feel enchanted by this energy. This person enchanted you and you awakened them. I'm getting like this is past life soulmate energy for the simple fact it's forbidden. This is why the pool there's this, so many dynamics that's keeping this from coming together. Your finances or the issues that you were going through triggered or showed this 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 divine masculine something like you didn't know your worth or maybe they see you realizing your worth or they see you putting your crown on and it's making your value go up it could be you know you just focus on what's prevalent right now in your life and this person is like damn um i like that that's that's what i'm talking about so this person is sitting back watching they're not acting they're definitely telepathically communicating they have a strong desire for you. You have a strong desire for them, but you feel like it's forbidden. Like it's not going to happen or it's not supposed to happen. This is giving me a karmic uh, a lesson that's going on. Somebody, you are ending the cycles. It's like a generational uh, generational curse being broken is what I'm getting. Like some type of karma. Wow. I said somebody could have been doing some shits and those love spells. Now I'm getting like this may be the karma from choosing those people that you and your divine masculine or you and your divine feminine chose to do before y'all encountered each other y'all have to end the karma those wills those lessons that's why there's this telepathic communication this deep longing a, a desiring but it's like something happened there's a spell work that's either falling off coming off somebody could be projecting it this could be your y'all exes exes projecting shit onto y'all um i don't know but some type of karma is taking place right now and it has to to completely cycle out before something else can come in or move on from it Okay, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Can I get a few of the Tarot to clarify this Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine energy? What's going on for the Divine Masculine? What do I need to see and say? What does the Divine Masculine need to know? Or what does the Divine Feminine need to know from the Divine Masculine? And vice versa. What does the Divine Masculine need to know from the Divine Feminine? Show me what I need to see and say, please. I wasn't even looking at the cards to see what was before that. What does the Divine Masculine need to know? So maybe this Divine Masculine is heavily intuitive. They said, I know you miss me. <laughs> we got the Fool and the High Priestess coming out. So there is somebody who knows what they're going to do. They're, they're not going to hold back anymore. This person is about to take this leap of faith. It's like they have the wisdom and the understanding that they need. They know what they're going to do. At first they were between lines. You know it was, it was blurred. They didn't make a choice. And you felt that. And now they feel it. We got the three of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. It's giving me like somebody knows that they want to collaborate with someone now. It's like they're for sure. They're ascending. And then there's this sexual chemistry that's undeniable. I don't know what you did to this person. But you put it on them. <laughs> They felt it. They can still feel the effects. And it could be some time in between. Yeah, we got the tower coming out and the five of swords. This person, 
there's major divine intervention taking place major divine intervention this person is all in their head this person was guarded I'm getting like they had their boundaries up but they was watching but whatever it is that they did what they didn't choose like this they is bothering them y'all see this blood in the background no, let me see y'all see that right there that's blood coming from somebody it's like somebody knows they took you to to the deep end and left you to fend for yourself by the sharks it's like they wanted some sharks to come out there and get your ass I don't know if it's bothering them or it's like they threw you back to the waters because they felt like you could swim but it, I don't know honestly when you're bleeding in the water them sharks are coming eat your ass alive maybe they wanted something to eat you alive or okay and then this song is on here somebody could want to eat you alive I don't know um and then she got a little bit of stuff but that's okay with the Kevin uh, the Mooney Walker and Kevin Gates the Lizzo remix is here can I get one more please and thank you what this what's this five of swords oh shit oh wow that's a lot of sh we got the wheel of fortune and then I see the two of cups this person is collecting information they could be trying to do something sneaky or deceptive because that's that's five swords and seven of swords this person had boundaries up but look at this they're thinking like this is stuff that they do not even conceal to nobody we got a king of wands we got the six of cups the moon and the king of wands this person is concealing how they thinking and dwelling and, and remembering this energy they said I don't give a damn about your fupa <laughs> we got the ace of cups the four of wands and the hangman somebody didn't change the entire freaking perception perspective on you divine feminine can I get one more what is this five of swords I'm, I mean I, I honestly I get with all that that just came out somebody is definitely in their thoughts of bringing something together this person is healing their heart it's like there's some type of self love that's going on here is what I'm getting we got the queen of wands this person is very very attracted very uh, obsessively attracted is giving me like somebody wants to manipulate the situation we got the queen of wands the nine of swords and the seven of wands there's definitely some type of anxiety or loss of sleep somebody could be stressing This Queen of Wands is protecting her energy and somebody is panicked. I don't want to assume that just yet. What's going on with the Divine Masculine? This person wants to take some type of leap of faith. But some type of tower moment took place and this person is... 44 y'all know what <clears throat> before I started my readings today I had sat down in the four of swords no the four of wands and then the four of cups was when I was splitting and I was in and, and, uh it said 744 on the clock and I was like something significant about 44 and now I see here the four of the four of cups and the four damn the same cups the same cards that was and the nine of cups somebody passed up an opportunity they could have been working on or fixing the foundation of their own home getting things together that devil keep coming out Somebody can't get somebody out their head. You see that six of cups right there? They can't stop thinking about it. They want this union. 
I Got You by Russ. What's going on with the Divine Feminine? If the, the Queen of Wands come out over here in a big bunch, we know that the King of Wands is wanting this, this Divine Feminine. They, they are feeling obsessed. Maybe this first person was in a lot of toxic energy. But this devil here is giving me like somebody is obsessively thinking about something that five of swords came out last we got the the death card flipping over somebody's really really daydream daydreaming about a change of some sort or uh, um, transition why do we have what's going on for the, the divine feminine with the finances make a choice in the reverse love and then tragedy we have the star here, Aquarius energy. We also have Capricorn energy. We have Pisces energy with that high priestess. And then I have Taurus energy here with the Hierophant. Now the high priestess can represent many signs. But I really do get uh, Pisces energy with the high priestess. What's going on with this uh, divine feminine? We got the make a choice. We got the empress flipping over in the deck the moon in the reverse so something may have been revealed or exposed to you look the king of wands in the reverse somebody could be uh going off the deep end you know the 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 king of wands in the reverse is um very promiscuous very uh um Domineering is what I want to say. Hot headed. Got the three of swords. Can I get two more for the divine feminine? And honestly, looking at it, it's giving me like. Got the empress. It's giving me like, uh. This is the energy that's coming towards. Like, this is the divine feminine. This is the divine masculine. I get two more for the divine feminine we got the page of wands somebody could be wishing on a star that something is exposed or revealed the king of wands may have or this divine feminine may have felt like she jumped the gun on something before knowing everything. Like this page of wands is very, um, very, very uh, spontaneous. That's the word that I wanted to say. It's like somebody took a chance and did something real sporadic. Maybe you didn't consult with the most high is what I'm getting. You made a choice. Maybe you felt like you made the wrong choice. You could be wishing on a star or something happens differently with your finances, but you felt like you was going around in the same circle. You took a chance on something. You thought it was love. And this person made you feel like something from the past. It triggered something. And so you felt as though you made the wrong choice. Like you didn't see everything. Or maybe you didn't see everything. And it's giving me like there was this obsession. There was this, this strong bond. Especially with the devil being there. You feel like this person manipulated you. Or this person may have damn well knew what they were doing with some manipulation. We got the, the ten of swords. And then the five of wands in the reverse is giving me like somebody didn't want to walk, walk away. But it was only right. They had to walk away. Somebody didn't fight. They didn't fuss. They didn't kick. They didn't scream. They didn't cuss. They didn't do nothing. They just walked the F away. Somebody didn't expect this to happen. They didn't see it coming. This fell out on the moon over here. We got the, the page of pentacles and I can see the world card. Somebody stood on business. Whatever evidence they had. And they closed out this cycle. And this was something that was very, very triggering to the entire dynamic is what I'm getting. Yep. Spirit said, you mother freaking right. That was an aha moment. Divine Feminine realized something, pulled her energy back. This was like, aha, I got, okay, I, I get it now. 
I ain't love to understand. This is my karma. You know what? Let me go ahead and close this stuff out. I don't want none of this no more. I'm I'm sorry. I'm done. I I'm moving on. Whatever you send me, I'm gonna be watchful for it. I'm gonna manifest. I'm gonna actually take the time out to to manifest and get the person that I want. But I'm getting like this was a manifestation that was supposed to happen. That tower being there with the spiritual path awakening, this was supposed to happen. This person, this player, you were supposed to run into this person. I'm getting like, this was your person. That's your divine masculine. You're the divine feminine. This is the person. But it's giving me like... It took a, a little bit of pain in order for you to realize this, is, this was the path. Pain turned into purpose. This is definitely okay. My bad, y'all. About that, that was an interruption. I think I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Let's get some uh, physical features for this divine masculine, divine feminine energy. I said I, I was gonna start doing it so that people could kind of have some type of inkling of of who this might be. How that card get in there? Somebody could be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Can I get a few features for the Divine Masculine? <laughs> that little booty just keep coming out for the Divine Feminine. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, little booties matter. And Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine features, please and thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Please and thank you. We got short height. Or somebody could be taller. Somebody could have a big booty. The little booty comes out, but it could be vice versa. Somebody could have a dunk. She got a dunk. She got a dunk. Somebody could be tall or short. Somebody could be a um, makeup artist or do their makeup really, really well. I like her. her that, that color, that lipstick, somebody could wear that... Uh, that dark plum color or do their eyebrows or do the liner that way what else Holy Spirit Holy Angels somebody could be that blonde hair and little booty keep coming out I'm telling you somebody is definitely a blonde somebody could be bald <laughs> or they could have a lot of hair somebody could be a few extra pounds or under a few pounds fit physique so, big or small, short or tall, hair or bald. <laughs> Y'all, I'm not making this shit up. I'm the spirit just making me be able to freestyle like such, you know? I'm just saying. Uh, somebody could have a beard or um, not. Somebody could have a smooth face. We got brown skin tone. Somebody could be of the Hispanic, Asian, um, Arabic. I don't know if, if that's light enough. Um, it's a different culture. They could have that brown skin tone. Somebody could have freckles. Somebody could be mixed as well. What else? Somebody could have dreads or locks, as I like to say. Somebody could have a lot of tattoos. Or they could have a peachy skin tone. Somebody could be white. Or um, not even just white. Like, you know, there's a lot of people that, that look white and they be um, Hispanic or they'll be... Um, from a different country you know what is that Sweden Swedish or somebody can have uh, physical disabilities is there anything else we do a few more shuffles one two three that's a card that fell, so I'm going to get that one. Then there was one that flipped over. We got black or African American. Could be well groomed. We got body piercings, so body piercings and tattoos. Somebody could have Vilago. They could be a Latino descendant. 
few extra pounds came out. Somebody could be of the LGBTQ plus. I know I said LGBTQ earlier, but you got to add the plus because there's other ones behind it. Somebody could be of West Indian descent. Somebody could have black hair. Small package. I don't know why the small package and the little booty keeps coming out. So somebody could have a huge package and somebody could have a badonka donk. We have gap smile. Somebody could have a gap. And then manicured nails. Somebody could keep their nails manicured or could possibly do nails. Collective. I'm going to end it there. I do want to thank you all for your time and stopping by. I truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you. Now, as always, please remember, being wanted feeds the ego. However, being valued feeds the soul. So if you are out and about in the community or whatnot, I do ask if you would please bless some stranger with a smile. You just never know who may feel invisible. But until the next time, make it a great day, my beautiful people.